Puerto Jiménez. First ride. Um, I'm going to Puerto Jimenez or actually Playa Pan Dulce and I just got my first ride and yeah, what can I tell you? I have three days off work. I was supposed to make a visa run to Panama but I decided against it because I will leave Haco anyways uh, in three weeks so I will overstay my visa only by two weeks and I'm gonna take the risk that maybe they will find me 50 US dollars, maybe not. Just can't be bothered to hitchhike all the way to Panama and then to Pan Dulce. So it's been crazy long time since I've made my last video. I've been in Haco almost three months now a lot has happened. Basically to recap all the highlights of the past 10 weeks. Jenny moved in to live with me, Minor and Oti and Amy also no. came to visit us from Colombia. <laughs> oh my god, you're so sweaty. <laughs> Long time no ocean. I'm so happy. <laughs> we had a lot of fun together, going on surf trips with our local friends. Yeah, one thing you have to watch out for, crocodiles. Yeah. How excited is Greta about the crocodiles? Super excited. Eating delicious food, as well as visiting a surf competition. I also changed jobs. Jenny, where are we going? We're going to work. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you, but I quit my job like five days ago because I just had enough of my boss being an asshole and we weren't even making that much money. So I got a new job and I'm going to be working at Bruce to board as bartenders. So Jenny, is also gonna start at rooms to board. <laughs> and last but not least, I moved into an apartment right in the center of Hako because I wanted a room with a window and Jose was looking for a new roommate. I also couldn't resist the balcony which was perfect for spying on everyone and everything that went down in Hako. And trust me, there was a lot going on. But back to hitchhiking to Matapalo. So like I said, a lot of things have happened during these last three months in Hako. Uh, room to board has been amazing. I'm making really good money over there. But because I wanted to make friends and I got to know like everyone in Hako, I partied for five weeks and Emmy also came. So we partied with her like crazy. So I kind of like spent all the savings I had managed to acquire in Nohana and in room to board. So now I started saving from zero again. Um, unfortunately, everyone left during the same week as Amy left. So all my friends that I had gotten to know left. And for the past three weeks, I've been like really ready to leave Hako. The last three weeks I've been just working, surfing and reading my book, like really chilling and not spending a lot of money because I really want to leave Hako one day and that one day is going to be in three weeks. I can't wait. First car picked me up. He's going to Estadio, so I'll ride with him until then. numbers because they will be staying in Hako, they're from Guanacaste, but yeah. 
I wish I would get more rides <laughs> from guys who look like that. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't told you guys. Um, so why I'm going to play a Pan Dulce is because when I came to Hako, I was kind of going out with this one guy and the only and first, first and only time when we went surfing with him and my friend, his friend came to pick us up. So he texted me now after two months that he's going on this surf trip. So he invited me along and because I was anyways going to do my visa run, which I'm not going to do anymore because it doesn't make sense. So yes, this guy Esteban invited me on a surf trip and I'm going to go there because I have three days off work and I want to see new places. But yeah, this just came to my mind from Hot Surfer guys. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> good stuff. Thank you universe, thank you. Give me more ride with these curly Hot Surfer guys from Costa Rica. Costa Rica, this is what you should be all about. This place is so beautiful. I don't want to go back to Hako. I'm just going to stay here and camp here for the rest of my life. Oh my God, check out the beach. <laughs> I'm gonna go drop off my camera because we're gonna go surf <sighs> Unfortunately, no videos of us surfing because we are gonna be focusing on the most relevant thing which is surfing not filming So yeah, might get back to you later. If not, my battery has died and I had a good time here There's so many monkeys. Oh my god, we just came from surfing and we're visiting um Esteban's friend's house so we can shower the salt water away and look he lives in the middle of the jungle and there's so many monkeys Hola. Quieres explicar qué es? What is this? Este es el único bar del mundo que trabaja solo. Solo, ya. Yeah. Uno llega, pone el dinero aquí. Marcos Bar. Ahí y se sirve lo que quiere. Ah. Yup. <laughs> And then you take some beer. Una pilsen por, para mí, por favor. Ay, madre, qué rica. Yeah. Pilsen. So. The cheapest, cheapest bar in all of Montepalo. <laughs> it is. <laughs> This is our tent neighbor's way of making money. 
There's this Argentinian guy living next to us and he's been here for <laughs> six months, so this is how he makes his money. What do you cost? 1500. 1500. Encontre tu bar! The Argentinian, he lives here. This is his casa. De nuevo. <laughs> surfing, surfing, yeah! <laughs> yeah, so um, this point where all the girls girls um, surf, it's called Pussy Point because that's where all the girls surf. <laughs> And I decided I'm most likely gonna call my boss and tell him that I'm gonna quit because I don't want to leave this place. This is like paradise on earth for me because there's no people here and it's very basic kind of living. Just living on the beach in a tent, waking up to the sound of the waves and seeing the sunrise. Like how much better can it get? My battery ends now. I can't believe it! In serio! It's a freaking sloth! And it's running away from me because I'm screaming like hell. I can't believe it, it's a sloth. This is the best thing. My camera is blinking red and my battery is about to die. But I got this on film. <laughs>